Hello, it's Bud. Let's talk about the merits of a cut path versus the pierced option. Have you ever broken a bid on a cut path? Have you ever had a cut path when it makes its second or third or fourth circuit around the path? Not go all the way to the top of the board or to the side of the board and start cutting a brand new path right through part of your project? I have. I did today. It was on hardwood. The bit was sharp. The bit was brand new. I was doing a max pass depth and the first two passes were fine. But on the third pass, it got to the left side of the board at the bottom, and it cut into the board about uh, oh, three quarters of an inch away from the actual cut path. I didn't break a bit. I saw it was happening. Um, it was such that I could recover the project just losing part of that side and, and not having a uh, be a total catastrophe. I didn't make firewood, but it got me to thinking and wondering whether there was a smarter way that could replace the cut path. I know that we need the multiple pass cuts, uh, the, the the limitation on the depth, you know, um, maximum pass depth. Um, but even that doesn't help. Sometimes you get stair steps, you wonder what happened. How? Uh, basically, what I've come to the conclusion of is I was using a piece of hard maple. I had tape on the um, brass roller side on the bottom uh, but the resistance of the hard wood to the bit made the calibration off and it just you know it showed up on that third time around and, you know, if I hadn't been watching the machine, it could have been a total catastrophe and I'd had firewood. So I went back to the drawing board. I'm going to show you what I started with and what we did from there. Okay, now this is one of the patterns that I just recently put in the store. It's Christ at the door. I think in the store I misspelled it. It's Christ at the D-O-O-G. But it's, it's a nice pattern. I'm not... Uh, I'm not doing this because the pattern's there but uh, and trying to sell them, but it is a good pattern. What I did, as we all do, is I highlighted it. I made a path and I applied my cutout bit to that path. Flip the cut, hide, and accept and it should have done exactly what it wanted. It went around, it starts starts here and it comes around. Well I actually turned my pattern 90 degrees. Uh, if I turn just a cut path you'll see what I'm talking about. Not that I have to do this but in fact I'm not going to. I turned it around but it, it actually it went around the circle circuit and two times it went completely right and the third time it got to about here and it came in and and this is actually the bottom of the pattern the way I had it laid out okay so that's what I started with okay here's the same pattern and what I did was I drew a rectangle um, just outside of my pattern 
and I apply the pierce okay after I apply the pierce I drew my lines using using the line segment tool and you just go back to it for each one I drew my lines that lights up the tab placement icon and I applied the tab placements um, this is actually 750 down here and that's what I have okay I also um, applied the pierce to my pattern so that I have this void uh, on either side of the figure um, this could be something that I could put on a uh, a lamp stand I put it in a uh, a light box um, what I've got in mind is uh, since this is uh, church related uh, in our church the older uh, linen changes with the season and if this is a wall hanging somewhere in the church then they could have the appropriate color of linen backing or felt backing behind this picture to go with whatever season it is whether it's blue for royal or red for passion uh, there's there's four four colors that we use red white blue and green uh, each for a different uh, portion of the year or whatever season it happens to be but the pierce carving I've tested it and it works uh, there is a tip and trick if you go to the carve right site you go to the learning lab you click on tips and tricks you get the grocery list of all the tips and tricks and if you come down to August of 2009 uh, it's titled custom tabs for full depth cuts if I click on that I get that particular PDF and here they're showing uh, drawing a connected line figure around the perimeter not on my figure but just outside it and the wording says that you can also um, use a rectangle or whatever oval whatever fits the need uh, but it shows you how to do your tabs and basically what I've shown you earlier but this is in writing if you want it in writing and that is the August 2009 tip and trick so what you've seen is a better way this carve now only takes the carving bit and it comes out pretty good so that is my two cents worth on cut path versus pierce option if I'm having any trouble at all or I have any worry about the cutting bit being able to do what I want I'm doing a raster carve anyway so if I just expand that raster carve slightly uh, I may not even need the cutting bit to do a full cutout I hope that helps